Jumping in a nice pool on a hot day is awesome. Looking out at a green pool, breeding mosquitoes, not so great. Not so much. Do you have to put up with it even if it's not on your property? That's why one woman called South Florida's Help Me Howard with Patrick Frazier. It's summertime, a.k.a. pool time. Sparkling blue water in your backyard, floats and fun. It's one reason Priscilla rented at a Hollywood complex. My kids were super excited that it had a pool and I had bought them floaties. Now let's look over Priscilla's shoulder as she stands on her balcony on this day in May. There's mosquito larva eggs in there. It's just disgusting, it's nasty. According to government records, the pool has been a mess since November when it was shut down. They didn't fix the pumps, they didn't fix the pool, they didn't treat the algae. Take a look at the pictures Priscilla has taken over the last few months. She says the pool goes from blue to light green to dark green to black and then and they just pour bleach in it and makes the water white for a few days and then it turns green again the hollywood park apartments north were cited by the health department in november december april and by the city of dania beach in may it's just so gross now it bubbles the pool pump has not been on for months and priscilla says the combination of mosquitoes and algae has made it tough on her family's health. And I've noticed that I've been having allergic symptoms and two of my kids just feeling a lot of phlegm in our chest, um, fatigue, um, itchy eyes. Priscilla has complained to the landlord. And he told me that you don't have to stay here if you don't like the condition. Priscilla has not paid the rent and is leaving. The pool won't be her problem, but she says she doesn't want her friends who live in the building to have to continue to deal with it. If you're not gonna clean it, just empty the pool. Well, whether it's an apartment pool or a neighbor's pool, Howard, can you do anything if it's a breeding ground for mosquitoes? Absolutely. The law gives cities and counties great power to protect the public health. They can cite the owner and fine them with escalating fees to spur them to fix the pool. If that won't work, the city or county can fix it themselves and place a lien on the property. And if someone gets sick or hurt by a dirty pool, the owner could be financially liable. In June, a Dania Beach magistrate held a code enforcement hearing after the building's owners were cited. Is there anyone here from the apartment building? The property owner didn't show up. Since the pool was clean that morning, he only had to pay a $100 fee, but the owner did miss a warning. As a repeat violation, it would be a $500 fine. If it gets really bad, then it would be an irreparable violation that would be up to a $5,000 a day fine. The landlord, Jacob Ramon, wouldn't talk to me, but his attorney did, telling me they couldn't repair the pool for a while because they were replacing the windows in the complex, that the pool repairs were extensive with bids to solve the problem reaching $50,000, adding that the landlord is going out every day to pour chemicals in the pool to keep it clean. But Priscilla isn't there to see it. So relieved. I just feel so much better. Priscilla has moved into a new apartment complex with her children, but she isn't going to forget about her old neighbors and their pool problem. If I hear something about one of my neighbors saying that the pool is green again, then I'll definitely be proactive and try to help them out. Nice of you to keep an eye on your friends, Priscilla. And if your neighborhood has a green pool, contact the health department and the city or county. You know the diseases mosquitoes can spread and a dark pool is dangerous if a child falls in. Problems swarming around you? Ignore the buzz. Make a splash and contact us. Hopefully things will go swimmingly. With this help me hard, I'm Patrick Frazier, 7 News.